Hello and welcome to our beauty, fashion and lifestyle show. Fame can sometimes feel like a prison, Beyonce confesses. David O sported thrilling Ethiopian fans as the country celebrates the start of year 2017. Elon Musk offers to give Taylor Swift a baby after the childless star endorses Kamala Harris for president. Coach professes his love for New York in spring-summer 2025 collection and Madonna stumbles in sky-high heels at Lua Fashion Show during New York Fashion Week. And in our trending segment, Beyonce has opened up about the challenges of living under the intense scrutiny and pressure of fame and how it can sometimes feel like a prison. Known for her impeccable standards and the high quality of her work, the singer addressed the weight of expectations during her recent interview. She stated, I create at my own pace on things that I hope will touch other people. I hope my work encourages people to look within themselves and come to terms with their own creativity, strength and resilience. Beyonce also added, I focus on storytelling, growth and quality. I am not focused on perfectionism. I focus on evolution, innovation and shifting perception. She stressed that her current projects including the music for Cowboy Carter and other new endeavors feel liberating rather than burdensome. The singer stated that the prison-like nature of fame is a reason why she stays out of the limelight sometimes. Beyonce is queen. When I say Beyonce is queen, she is queen. So whatever she says, I think everybody just has to just see everything from her own perspective, right? Being very famous is one thing. Focusing on your music is another thing. Now, with this new generation of artists, I think a lot of them focus on, you know, fame more than they focus more on their music. But Beyonce has always been about the music, even when, you know, we're not in the era of social media with the whole TikTok trends, Instagram and all of that. And I'm telling you that Beyonce is stretching herself so hard to see if she can follow up with all of these trends because I see that is not really her thing. She's more focused on, you know, making music the right way and passing the right message. And I think that is what she really focuses on. And also when it comes to her business, she puts in her own it's all about you know making money and doing good music she's not all about the fame you know people diving into her personal life she doesn't really show so much about you know what she does day to day you know doing all the vlogs and all of that and even her kids she keeps really really private so anything about her personal life and relationship she has tried to keep that off social media and i think that is actually the best for you know any artist or anybody who is really out there even though some people say mm, putting out your life out there makes, you know, your fans connect with you somehow and, you know, they find it relatable. Just like Rihanna, for example. Rihanna is, you know, you can see everything she does. So a lot of people can relate to her. And I think that's also why some of Rihanna's products sell more than that of Beyonce. But I mean, this is who she is. She's just a very private person. Beyonce is like, guys, focus on my music. Listen to me. That's why she's actually not putting out visuals right now. You can hardly see any music video that Beyonce has put out for any of her music. So she's like... Guys, more of the music, more of my business, and less of me and my family. And on our sports segment, Davido was in Ethiopia on Wednesday to perform in a sold-out show as the country entered the year 2017, which is seven years behind the global Gregorian calendar. The superstar performed several of his popular songs, including hits from his record-breaking fourth album, Timeless. Ethiopian celebration of a new year on September 11 is due to its orthodox Tewahedo calendar, which has 13 months. Davido's performance in Ethiopia follows his performance at an event in Saint-Tropez that had notable guests in attendance, including Nigerian billionaire Femi Otedola. This is actually really, really weird. Like, we are in 2024, and it's crazy how another country is in 2017. Like, how weird and crazy is that? But I mean... Their calendar has 13 months, so I'm sure they know how they handle it over there. But I don't know. David are going to perform. If it's me, it's so weird for me. You know, going to a, another country that is in another year, completely different from the year that you're in. But I hope, you know, other things are not really weird in Ethiopia. I hope, you know, they listen to current music, you know, their style and fashion is up to date, all of that. I'm sure that is really happening. I think the only change in their country is just, you know, how their calendar works and how their dates move back. But yeah, David O came to show up and show out and David O does not rest. 
like this man does not rest he's in this country today performing the next day he's in another country performing he just does not have rest like i love his hustle like you can tell that even as this man has made it in life he still hustles like someone who is just upcoming so well done debido i hope you had a great time in ethiopia and on our editorial segment, Elon Musk bizarrely offered to give Taylor Swift a baby after the pop star endorsed Kamala Harris for president. Fine, Taylor, you win. I will give you a child and guard your cats with my life, Musk wrote on X early on Wednesday. It is unclear whether the SpaceX founder was offering to impregnate the singer or give her one of his 12 kids, but his post immediately received backlash from Swifties. Swift took to Instagram late Tuesday to endorse Harris minutes after the Democratic vice president debate against Republican candidate and former president Donald Trump on ABC. I will be casting my vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Wells in the 2024 presidential election. The Grammy winner wrote in a lengthy statement along with a photo of herself with her cat. She signed her message by calling herself a childless cat lady. <laughs> this is actually really, really funny. And you know, don't play with Swifties. Taylor Swift has a crazy and very loyal fan base. Anytime you say anything wrong about Taylor Swift, trust me, the Swifties are going to come for you. I think she was just trying to be funny by writing the whole childless cat mom thing. And then our big boss, Mr. Elon Musk, you know, had to just fall into the whole thing and just take advantage of it and say what's on his mind. But Mr. Elon Musk, you already have 12 children from different women. And I think that's one thing about an African man, you know, they always like pretty women, having them plenty. So, bro, I don't think Taylor Swift wants to, you know, be an addition to that number. And, you know, a lot of people can find that really offensive, especially knowing that you have, you know, different children from different women. And now you want to add Taylor Swift to the mix. I think he's just been savage. Elon has always been, you know, a very savage person and he uses his platform X to, you know, show that side of him. So I think he was just being savage. And I like that, you know, the Swifties came for him. Don't talk like that about Taylor Swift, okay? Thank you. <laughs> and in our new collection, Coach gave New York Fashion Week a whole new meaning on Monday as creative director Stuart Webers drew inspiration from the city itself. The spring-summer 2025 collection embraced a laid-back street style celebrating classic American casual fashion with influences from skate culture and graffiti, specifically that of New York culture. In addition to the New York-themed embroidered looks, Coach's collection showcased a rich palette of browns and light pinks alongside versatile denim pieces. These tones added depth and warmth to the collection, balancing the laid-back street wear with a touch of softness and timeless appeal. Woo! I'm such a coach girly, and I think coach is really releasing, you know, um, items in the market that, you know, girls really, really love. Have you seen the latest coach back collections? They look really beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to this. And then another thing I like coach about is they're very, very playful with colors. Like their colors do a thing. Their colors that they pick are always very unique, very beautiful. Their designs, once you see a coach bag, you know it's a coach bag. Once you see anything from coach, you just know it's coach. So I'm really looking forward to this collection because I really, really love all of the items that are putting out in the market right now. And on Spicy or Not, Madonna made a rare appearance at New York Fashion Week on Tuesday night, stepping out for Lua's runway show in a pair of extremely high heels. Along with the boots, the singer wore a bold shouldered camel trench dress, black latex gloves, fishnet stockings, oversized sunglasses, and a large lure bag. In a video shared on X, the Vogue singer can be seen making her way to the front row seat before stumbling in her stilettos as on Lucas gasped. I mean, Madonna is mother. Like, when I say she's mother, she's mother. She would slay and rock any outfit at any given time. And another thing I love about Madonna is she is a risk taker. She can put on anything. She's just like, you know, a Lady Gaga. They can wear an egg and you know rock it really well and people will be like mm, okay you look really good in it i remember that time that lady gaga wore meat to an award ceremony like she wore raw meat she even wore like she was inside an egg and then she had people carry her that's the kind of style that madonna gives as well madonna would rock anything and still look really sexy and then also coming from the fact that you know she's not really like so young but still kills it Madonna is just mother, that's all I have to say. She's such a fashion icon, I'll give it to her. And don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. 
Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye.